Okay. I'd like to call the meeting to order. Rachel, please call the roll. Here. 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 Please stand for the salute to the flag. was the date for what? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. She was here last week. Did she know this? Did she give us an extension of time no. until tonight? The notice requirements of the open public meeting law for this meeting have been satisfied. Okay, a copy of the notice have been sent to the Asbury Park Press, the coaster, and filed at the Office of the Township Clerk on July 12, 2000, 2017. There is an emergency exit through the courtroom doors, two exits in the rear of the room. No smoking. Board policy. No new cases will be started after 11 p.m. No new testimony taken after 11.30. In addition, the applicant will be limited to 45 minutes of testimony. Notice, all meetings will be video and audio taped and shown on the Township of Ocean's Community Cable Channel 22 on Verizon Fios Channel 77 on Cablevision. All cell telephones must be turned off. If you need to make a call, please make your call outside the meeting room. Carried cases to March 15th, Chris Schwartz, Block 1.03, Lot 9, 5 Frederick Drive, Ocean, Fahar and Rebecca Salome, Block 22, Lots 44.02, 249 Overbrook Avenue, Oakhurst, Dennis Randall, Gerald Miller, Block 131, Lot 11, 2001 Se South Wanamassa Drive, Wanamassa, Jerry Mauer, Block 113, Lot 60, 11 Wanamassa Point Road, Ocean. Maurice and Aline Benjamin, um, Block 22, Lot 38, 250 Overbrook Avenue, Oakhurst. David and La Lala Saltz, Block 50, Lot 6, 404 Running Avenue, West Deal. Cases carry to April 19th, 2018. Not that far away. At April? We're doing, we're doing April, no. um, April 19th, you April got it. 19th. Jack Sh Shama, Block 25, Lot 26, to Weinberg Court Ocean. Um, also, case number three, Amy Sickles, Block 40.11, Lot 15, 1018 Franklin Avenue, Ocean, Zona R4. When is that? That's carried to? March 15th. March 15th. And Orrin Linder, Block 40.03, Lot 3, 608 Deal Road, Ocean, also March 15th. <clears throat> uh, minutes for approval. Can we do this as a group? Uh, no. Okay. November 2nd, 2017, regular meeting. Make a motion. Second. Yes. 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 November 20th, 2017. Let's make a motion. One second. Can I second? You're not eligible. Second. Who's eligible? I second. John. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay, December 21st, 2017, regular meeting. I'm not eligible. Which is that? Jim Morrill. Second. That's different. Yes. 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 Resolutions and memorializations. Oh, okay. Okay, they're all hanging on the wall, seeing that nobody wants me to read each one individually. I'll offer them as a group. Gre <laughs> Thank you. Gregory Vargo, Block 126, Lot 3, 1318 Englewood Avenue, Wanamassa, Bulk Variance <laughs> Approval. RC Realty South LLC, Block 3, Lots 2.013, 2135 Route 35, Oakhurst, Extension of Approvals. Christopher Roth, Block 38.06, Lot 9, 5 Aaron Court, Wayside, Bulk Variance Approval. David and Julie Cohen, Block 138.01, Lot 16, 1111, Bendemere Avenue, Wanamassa, Bulk Variance Approval. Someone please offer. I'll offer. A second. Rachel, please call the roll. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Yes. Okay, that brings us to case one. Brenda Cabasso, block 58, lot 10, 449, Crosby Avenue, deal, zone R2. This is an application to install a generator, drywell, and fencing, and keep an existing sports court, pool equipment, pool surround, four AC condensers, window wells on this corner lot with variants for front yard, rear yard, and side yard setbacks under minimum, and fence height over maximum in front yard. Attorney for the applicant, Jennifer Krimko. Rachel, please mark the packet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For the record, Jennifer Krimko, and if the board remembers, we went through all of the testimony at the last meeting, and the board was ready to vote, but they wanted to see the revised plan so they could confirm the landscaping, the fencing, and the dry wells. So I just have the plan to move into evidence. Both Bill and Jim signed off on the plans as in compliance with their previous comments. I believe we're up to A3, Rachel? Um, yes. Okay, so that's the plot plan prepared by Chet Sermont, and it's revised through February 1st, 2018. Yeah, but the drainage calculation. That was So, subject to Bill or Jim having any of their questions, really the plans were revised to show fencing, landscaping, and dry wells per the board professional's recommendations. Jim. Yeah, and I'm, I'm satisfied with the plans. I think they did everything we asked them to do. Bill. I think so. I think that if Jennifer can, uh, and she could probably, well, one of the uh, drainage calculations should be entered as also as oh, an exhibit. I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. As B, as A3, and because Chet was trying to get it in under the nick of time, it just revised in February. Yeah, I only have a paper copy, and it's. Um, Three or four pages. Well. Yeah, you know what? I don't even have it. I just have reference to it. What's the date on it? It's, it's revised through February. I forget. Okay. Oh, hang on one sec. Hang on. <laughs> Dry well design. Uh, bear with me. No, revised through, right, it was dated December. No date. Right. December 2017. Revised through February 2018. Right. And what it basically does is as per per Bill's recommendation, it addresses the 100-year storm for the excess impervious coverage. Okay. You're good? Yes, I am. Okay. Any questions from the board? I just have a question. I, I must be falling behind you, Ms. Krunka. Uh Is this the plan we have? Because I don't have one dated 2018. The last ones I have are 2017. I can't speak as to what you have, Ms. Bonnie, because I don't no, uh, distribute them to you. I mean, look up here. This is revised 2118. Look up on the oh, top of the okay. block. Yeah. Okay, Not you see in it? the usual place, but and okay. it's small. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, any questions from the public? Seeing there's no questions, motion to close the public hearing. Make a motion to close the public. Second. Rachel, please call the roll. <coughs> um, yes. 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 Ms. Krimko, thank you. You're welcome. No. Oh, wait a minute. I was only to close, right? Yeah. Action. So, so what I gather, we're granting variance for a six-foot solid fence around the pool and the pool equipment, right? Right. Yeah. In the front yard. Front yard. With, with, with 42.5 feet yeah. set back as opposed to 50. Four-foot fence around the AC condensers. Mm -hmm. And that's a variance, too, because They're it's solid. solid. Okay. Um, pool equipment itself. Is within the front yard setback with about four, four yeah, feet. Yeah, that's the bigger. Okay, thing. same thing with the AC condensers, um, the sports court, pool deck, window wells. Right. Right. Yeah. Yep. Pool deck, sports court, and and sort of, it all got constructed and all got enclosed with landscaping. Correct. Everything is satisfactory to mm -hmm. the. Uh, oh, and area. also the generator at nine point two feet instead of ten, so it could be tucked behind the shed. Mm -hmm. Where's the generator? Go on the second page of ah, Jim's it. report. Yeah. And the existing what? pool deck at 9.2, at 4.6 instead of. down there. And the generator. Yeah, okay. The generator, yeah. So we can tuck it behind. Yes. We, yeah. I remember yeah. that. Okay. That's what you're granting. Okay. Move for a positive resolution. Second. Rachel, please call the roll. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you again. Have a short evening. Okay.
Case number two, Susan Pogwis, block 130, lot 10, 1308, Vena Avenue, uh, Wanamassa, zone R6. Who are you going to see tomorrow? This is an application to keep a solid fence six foot in height with variance for fence height over maximum in the front yard. Rachel, the package is, mar package is marked already. B2. You're still under oath from last time you'll be testifying again? Yes. Okay. Will you be testifying also? Yes, I will be. Okay, please raise your right hand. Uh, you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Please state your name and address. Uh, Ray Pogwis, 1308, Bon Ave. Okay. Reports. Jim? Yeah, I did, did a brief report February 12th. I'll summarize. As you recall, it was a fence that's perpendicular to the front property line on the side of the driveway. Uh, they had two eight-foot sections, one of which, both of which were six feet high, and the concern was that the, uh, the ordinance were permits it to be only three feet high if it's a solid fence. Right. What they did is they, they're replacing the front eight foot section with a fence which they indicate on the plans, although it's not dimensioned, but it's indicated on the plans it's going to be an open fence as defined by the ordinance. Okay. Um, I don't have a, a major problem with that. I think if you do approve it, first of all, it should specify in the approval that that fence meet the definition of an open fence and that the second section of the fence, the six foot high, eight foot section should be a minimum of 15 feet from the front property line, which I think Bill will go into a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Bill? Okay. Um, I have a report dated February 13th. Uh, I, the applicant submitted a new plan. I won't rehash all that. It looked like the intent was to have the six foot tall section start, I had said 15 feet behind the sidewalk. Okay. Which is probably 13 feet, arguably, yeah. but the sidewalk is easy to measure from. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that means that the eight, the six foot tall section has to move back about approximately two feet, and then forward of that, they can have their four foot fence. It's permitted by ordinance. It's not even part of the application as long as. Long. So then I, I, what I tried to do is I, I tried to write on the second page of my February 13th letter, uh, A, B, C, and D because it kind of spells out what has to be, if you put that in a resolution, it's what has to be done, and it gets them in total tune with the uh, board's approval to the board approve it. Okay, so, so basically from last time, you, you took that first eight-foot section. That's, that's what I'm proposing that I would do, because and, I mean, okay. I, can, I can meet him halfway. I can kind of see okay. how you would look, look at it and think that it could be... A block for I mean, I, and I'm I also have an unreasonable uh, person. I have 27 years of the same no, comment, I know. Susan. Yeah, so, so I, I know. I know. <laughs> okay, so we're all good then. So I mean, I was I I mean, I was just going to put it to the board. Is there any chance that I can have the 24 inches, or do I have to dig the whole thing up and move it two feet? Is that two feet really going to, you know, because then I have to pull the post out and I have to cut the fence. I do it. And is it possible for me to be approved for the two? I don't. Know. What, what are we talking about? Sir. We're talking about having to set back. Fifth, uh, 13 feet. Is it 13 instead from of the sidewalk? 15. So We're already giving you the two feet for. No, for and the I just property. I just want to just want to state one I, more I, thing. When I originally went for, went and the board can do it at once. I I just I, I gotta you know what I mean. I I can't be inconsistent and, and yeah I mean arbitrary, I'll, but the board can consider what the applicant is saying and, and it, it, it was for privacy. I just that's not yeah. what's important. Yeah. What's important when I first put the fence in and Kate came out. Kate measured and she told me that the measurement, and this was called the public right of way, that's what the measurement that she told me was called, was 12 feet from the sidewalk. So I originally, so she told me the 12 feet and then you guys had told me the 15. I had tried, I came down to the town in between the last meeting and tried to get like what in writing is the 12 feet. She said the public right of way for where I am is the 12 feet. With the 12 feet, I would have been able to keep a little piece of that that other section, but then I said, well, maybe if I take it whole down and then split, you're saying 15, she was telling me 12. I'm so saying 15 from the sidewalk. Exactly, and she had told me tw that I could, that it was 12. She told me that the code rule was 12. There is no code rule. Well, that's, it's, she, okay. she, well, she came out. It doesn't she, matter. No, I'm just saying she came out and she measured with me. I just yeah. wanted to state I that. I was there measuring also. Whatever you want to do. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, listen. I got to say what I have to say because right. I have a license, so. Yeah, no, but the, the first eight-foot section, you're bringing down to four-foot open, and it's gonna, that's going to comply. So there's going to be no 
Yeah, I'm gonna take out that whole section because at first it was like, let's cut it. Let's. I'm just gonna pop it out and do the four foot. It has to be the 50-50 open solid, open solid. Correct. It has to be the same distance. That's what the ordinance reads. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And that I understand. I, I understand that. What do you think, board? Questions? So I'd have to take the whole fence out and cut two, 24 inches off, move it two feet, reset it, and then I, it's actually a framed out panel. I'd have to reframe the panel. I mean, I'm asking if you would consider it. You, you know, I know this, that you might not, you have, but I'm asking. You I have two I panels. Ask. We would take one completely out. Yeah. The one that's closest the to the street. The second panel, I would have to pull the, the whole thing out, on shave the west it to uh, 24 inches, yeah. and reset it. And then. This is a four foot piece or a. The, that's the piece, the six foot piece, the six, foot. the six foot tall piece that I'm allowed to keep. That's the one I would have to pop it out and I'd have to cut the She wants that to start 13 feet instead from the of edge the of sidewalk yes. instead of 15 feet. Is this shown by the picture that yes. was given in our materials here? Didn't do it yet. I didn't do it yet because uh, I didn't know what I, what I was going right, to. They told me not to touch any pictures. So. All right. Yeah, right here. So where is this fence set? You just got to take this off. Right here on the driveway. See how it's yeah, here? how many feet? Okay. No, I, I see where see it says in the picture, but I can't tell the feet by looking. How far at back is that now? That there. would be how far back is so the edge thirteen feet from the sidewalk now. Exactly. The, 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 the second circle starts at thirteen instead of fifty. First thirteen. Do it doesn't minute, matter because if it it's fifty percent if it's fifty percent open right. and four feet tall, it can be anywhere. What Reed is asking the current fence is pictured here, how far back is it now from the sidewalk? Uh, arguably five feet, right? It's yeah, from, from that edge of the it, sidewalk, it, it's Again, doesn't right. matter because it's, it can, no. if it's, once it's made no, to conform, it can be out right out on. We're not going to take it out. We don't have to even talk about it. Look it. I'm just trying to. We're not going to keep that? Yeah. And, and make it, that makes sense. No, I'm going to take the one closest to the sidewalk. I'm just yeah. going to pop the whole thing out. What do you guys think? Right. And then put the four foot open. The other one I'm trying to not have to dig it up. It's a lot. It's a lot of. All right, so. Okay. But they, you know, I thought I would ask. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. I guess, I guess, <laughs> since we're complying to the four foot section. Whatever you want. I, no. um, since we're complying to the four foot section and we're looking at the pictures and she's taking down the one section right. that's right on the top of it. Right. And, it open and we're it talking open about though. two feet. Mm -hmm. I, w I would say that it's okay. not unreasonable as long as it's otherwise complying and it's the every other board so it's the open fence that she gets her two feet because it's going to be much easier to construct and deal with that way but anyone else have any comments a, yeah, i agree it's a board vote it's, it's two feet i think we can i think we can do it it's two feet and it's yeah. one of my set and exactly. it's and it's privacy and they have yeah. testimony i want i want pass all that. okay and i promise it'll look attractive Oh, I live in one it'll, of them. It'll look really nice. Right. You should, you I should walk past you to walk by. <laughs> walk, have you walked past the house? I, I rode past it. Okay, thank you. Um, anyone, okay. anyone else from the board have any questions? Anyone from the public to be here? Heard? Uh, <laughs> <our attorney. laughs> By when will this be accomplished? I want to put that in the resolution. Oh, uh, well. How fast can you do it? Um, well, it's winter have, still. Well, if I don't have to dig it up and remove it, that was I would have had to wait till frost. But I could just. I we mean, could just pop that out and pop another in. Within yeah. sixty days, that I'll just no I have problem. to go buy a section. I have to put it in. Yeah. You know, I'll be that doing yard cleaning by, yeah. by the end of yeah. April. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. By the end Reasonable. of April. Reasonable. We don't get more snow. I want to get some warm. I got extended from sixty to April. I need a date. Okay. Well, what's today? April thirtieth. Fifty days from the resolution. April fifteenth. April thirtieth. Pay your taxes and get your fence in the same day. Yeah, there we go. Okay. April 30th. I'll just pop that one out. April 30th. Everybody go with that? I think April 30th. You know, weather being what it is. It's going to snow again this weekend. I mean, I start doing yard cleanup March 1st, so I don't mind. I go out there and work. Okay. Anyone from the public can be heard. What date? Make a motion to close the public hearing. Somebody tell me. Is that the date? Everybody likes April 15th, you said. She said 30th. April 30th is fine. April 30th. Fine. 2018? 2018. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, our attorney. Mr. 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 <laughs> Worrell wants to close the public hearing. Do I have a motion to close the public hearing? I second. Rachel, please call the roll. Oh, I did. I'll I second. Really didn't. Oh, yes. huh. 
I'm I'll, I'll second. <laughs> wow. I was here. I'll second. <laughs> yes. 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 Action. That's what they're saying. So we want to offer the I'm action for a positive resolution that we take the fence one section out, leaving and uh, replacing with an open, open box wood style, four, not to exceed four feet high. Exactly. By April thirtieth. By April thirtieth, two thousand and eighteen. But what they're saying here, since we don't have any measurement to scale, is that the second section, which is six feet high, must be at least. 13 it's already there. Back. It's already it's there. It's already there. there. It came out so measured. It's there. So 13 feet. Yeah. yeah. So it's, okay. So, so it's 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 15. It, it is 13. It is 13. It is 13. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. 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 I thought there was no measurement. No. no. Who, that was my who offered that? Oh, I need a second. Second. Rachel, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Thank you. Please see Rachel. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Good luck with your fence. Thanks. Next case is case number four, Victoria Schreiber, block 25, lot 87, 480 Elizabeth Street, Oakhurst, zone R4. This is an application to place a solid six-foot fence in height with a variance for fence height over maximum in a front yard. Got these front yard things. Oh. Rachel, please mark the packet. Will you be testifying? Please, sir. Please raise your right hand. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Please state your name and address. Victoria Shriver, 484 Elizabeth, 480 Elizabeth Street, Oakhurst. Okay. Okay, so um, please tell us uh, what you'd like to do. There is a wood fence. Right. I need to replace it. Okay. And I wanted to put the exact same space that is around the house, but a vinyl fence. Is the fence the same height as the wood fence? Well, the gentleman that was doing it, they said it's better to put six foot. Okay. But I, I think I'm going to have my professionals uh, um, um, uh, read their reports in first. Okay. okay. Yeah. What I'll do, I'll just I'll summarize. They had re re uh, previously received approval for a wooden scalloped fence that was five feet to five feet seven inches. Right. Okay. Um, what they're proposing is a six foot high white vinyl fence. Okay. Uh, the only concern I had is the visual impact. It's a higher fence. It's white, which is much more visual. It's on a corner, and I think it would really stand out. That's why I had concerns about the fact that if it was a white vinyl fence six foot high that it, it wouldn't be a you know it would, would be not an eyesore but would definitely be out of character with the neighborhood and if it were going to be like a five foot five and a half foot high vinyl fence that was tan in color that it you know that would be a lot closer to the original approval. Uh, Bill I think also has a suggestion for a white fence okay that I think is very attractive. I think I think it would work as well, if not better than what I suggested, so I'll let him take the lead. Okay. Go. Well, I have a, a report dated December 15th where I just uh, suggested that Ms. Schreiber maybe consider a six foot tall fence but have a, a lattice type top for the higher foot. I think I have some, some pictures of it in my report. And uh, essentially put it in the same place as the other one was approved. Okay. Uh, which would mean that it was set back 15 feet from the westerly. Chatham Avenue curb line. That was where the original approval was. You can't get that many more. Okay. Um, this was way back early in the game. File 04 or so. Uh, and uh, have a 10, foot, 10 by 10 chamfer at the back corner as shown on the approved plan, which I think is also in the board's packet if you have got a copy of the board's packet. The plan that you submitted was done by Bob Key. Um, but it wasn't the one we actually approved. We actually approved with a, a scalloped corner. And then we, we suggested some landscaping just to soften the whiteness. Of yeah, the I was going to suggest the outside it needs some landscaping. Yeah, we, we gave her some definitive ideas. I mean, we, well, it's a lot of fence. <laughs> no, I need anyway in the front, I need a lot of landscaping. But if you're okay with, uh, with the four suggestions we made yep. I would recommend that the board approve it 
Are you okay with those suggestions? Exactly, yeah. Did you, you are. see this plan, ma'am? Did you see this plan? That's what you gave me here, right? Okay. No. No. Yeah, that's the one. If you look in that in the, look in the corner, corner you'll see how they back. took off the 10 by 10 at the corner. That's so that if, if someone behind you chooses to redevelop that lot someday and they want to put their driveway within five feet of the property line like they're allowed to do, they, they'll be able to see a car coming down the street. That's why the chamfer... No, no down, no, no, down the lower line. There you go. See how it goes across? The fence. Oh, that's right. Here you go. That's the way it was supposed to be built originally. But it was not. I, 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 no, I'm not blaming you. No, we didn't live there. I didn't live no, there. No, we're not blaming you. <laughs> if this comes along the street, <laughs> somebody tell her to stop like on that. Snookies and right. take the landscape to that side okay. of that. And that's so that if you drive it over here, they can't go back and have the easy street. Okay, so this is the way. So how do I have to do it? Just like this. Along here, chamfer, and in the back. So this is the, this is, this is Chatham. I mean, right. this is, this, this is Chatham. Chatham, and this is. The back property line. Uh-huh. So he it's has to go like this. So I, yeah. I, sh I have to show just him like this. Just like that, yep. Yeah. And then... And, the, and Not like this. Not like that. Just a little not different like on this. the top. Right. We no, but in other words, no. My question is, is it like this? This corner is okay here because this is at the end. The other corner has to go back like that. Oh, the, the gentleman the, behind me. Yeah, exactly. Oh, what's his name? I forgot his first Whatever, name. Whatever, but that... that yeah, okay. Oh, oh over okay. there. Yeah. Over there. <coughs> and then you want me to put bushes here. Yeah, and we left them, left them all in there for you. Labor, oh, okay. You know. okay. Okay? Now we could find the garden. And, and you're going to put up a six-foot high fence that has the top one foot. Ladder. 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 Yeah, I yeah. like that. Yeah. I like that. You like that? I like it. I like it in white, too. Then well, we, then we give you the white if you make the then open. We have to, yeah, then we have to put power wash and put brush or something. Picture, put you it. can put it in tan and you won't have to power wash it as much. One of no, the engineers, the, engineers, the plant will like tan. But you know what? The woman across the way has a white fence. So it, you, you can do whatever you want. Okay. You know what I mean? All right, but you, you understand that you have to take that one corner and chamfer it, right? Okay. okay. Now. Uh, and I and you got now. the. Now I understand. You're going to do the lattice on the top right. and you're going to landscape the outside. Okay, the outside of the fence. Yeah, right. Well, so okay, and sure. And we want you to leave happy. Yeah, exactly. And they didn't do it the last time. Okay. All right. More or less, right across there, like. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. What could they do to me? Yeah. Throw me out. Ma'am, why are you replacing the fence? Is the one there uh, uh, oh, it's, it's deteriorated? Yeah, we, we okay. proved this in 1991 or something. It's, that's fine. I just want to. Well, that's for it's, sure. It's um, falling apart. Broken, apart. corroded. I wasn't there. I wasn't living there. It wasn't no. maintained. No, 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 no. I don't have any problem with that. We just have to put a reason. Right. The picture looks pretty gruesome of the old oh, fence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're we're all um, we're all together now. We know what we're doing, right? Yep. Good. Any questions from the board? Anyone here from the public to be heard? I have a motion to close the public hearing. Make a motion to close the public hearing. And I have a second. A second. second. Mm -hmm. Rachel, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Action. I'll move for a positive resolution. A second. According to Bill's letter. Yes. Who second? I did. Rachel, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Thank you. Please see Rachel. Next case is case number six, Beverly Marcy Hotel, <coughs> block 20.01, lot 20, 307 South Lincoln Avenue, Oakhurst, zone R4. This is an application to install an AC condenser with a variance for side yard setback under minimum. Good evening. How are you? Very good. Rachel, please mark the packet. B1. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Please state your name and address. Stephen Hytel, 307 South Lincoln Avenue, Oakhurst. Thank you. Um, reports? Basically, he wants to. He has replaced, I think, already. Right, he replaced an existing air conditioning condenser with a new 
air conditioning condenser in the same location. Um, the site, it's, it's an unusual site in that the lot lines are not perpendicular to the front street line, but the house is perpendicular to the street line, so the side lot line is at an angle. Uh, right. the, the house varies from, I think it's six feet in the front to 20 feet in the rear as far as the setback, and the setback of the condenser is seven feet, six inches. Uh, normally, condensers, newer condensers are quieter than the older ones, so you know, if we can have some testimonials to that regard, in that regard, then I don't have a major problem with it. Okay. Bill? Uh, I didn't have any engineering problem with it, but it looked to me like the neighbors is in the same. I was going to say the neighbors is right across. Yeah. They, so they can have dueling bands. It's like they can have dueling bands. Yeah, like dueling you know. bands. That's very interesting to say, that, you know, that they're right across from each other. Well, that's the place to put them. Okay, so um, tell us what you're doing. Well, what you did. Basically, uh, replace a air conditioning unit that was 25 years old and uh, put in the same spot. It was, had no problems with it, with any of the neighbors. They, uh, the unit is a lot quieter, a lot more energy efficient. Uh, it's a big deal to extend that piping yeah. with all the refrigerant piping and everything sure. a long yeah. distance. And it's got to go, it'd have to go through it. Uh, if I, the only other place I could possibly put it would be in the back of the house, and I'd have to run that through a uh, crawl space, and then... Yeah. It's okay. <sighs> okay. Good so, go. any questions from the board? <coughs> I have a real quick, you replaced an existing okay. condenser and put it in the same exact spot. Yeah. Same. How did you end up here? Tonight, I, huh? I think that I've asked that question because it, it didn't make sense to me either. There, from there, was, uh, there was a building permit put in. Somebody looked at the building permit, said, wait, it's the wrong place. And uh, I got a letter. Uh, actually, the uh, c contractor, uh, Delta Heating, is the one that got the letter. He sent it to me, and then here I am. We need to deal with that differently. Yeah. Mr. Attell, were you the, were you the um, owner when the first one was put in of the house? Did you get a permit for that? No okay. I think, so. I think that might have, what might have triggered it, because I, I had the same question, is if there was possibly no permit issued with the first one, uh, okay. then it might have flagged well, it as they went through and said, hey, this is, this is not replacing a permitted, well, whatever. It's, okay. And they won't sign off on the permit without a hearing. Right. Any other questions from the board? Anyone here from the public can be heard? Motion to close the public hearing. Make a motion. Second. Rachel, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Action. I'll move for a positive resolution. A second. second. Rachel, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Please see Rachel. Thank you. Thank you. There what do you, you want to do now? Party. Thank you all. Motion adjourned. Make a motion. We adjourn. Make a motion. We're adjourned.